Damn, I love Virginia. fellow travelers welcome back to the adventures of a traveling don my name is benjamin o and today i am here in virginia one of my favorite places one of my favorite states of all time i used to live here for about a year and a half from 2013 into 2014 uh, in the charlottesville area and this is where we're outside of we're about an hour and uh, about about an hour 15 maybe about an hour southwest of charlottesville virginia the home of uva one of my old hometowns at a place called Crabtree Falls and George Washington National Forest. So we're gonna take a hike, we're gonna enjoy these falls, and we're gonna have some food later on. But right now, please enjoy the beautiful nature of Virginia. So you guys might be wondering, wait, Ben, Virginia? You just came from Arkansas. What happened to Tennessee and all that kind of stuff? Well, this happened. Oof. You just hear the sound of that rain coming off that. It ain't looking too good. So apparently we have tornado warnings throughout Arkansas, so it's time to storm chase, baby. So yeah, uh, the storm did kind of like push me back quite a bit. So given that I had a timeline of where I had to be, I had to basically cancel the shoot. I did, however, have some fun. I mean, the, once I hit Memphis, after that, the drive was absolutely beautiful. I got to hang out with some old friends that we all just were in Nashville at the same time. So got to hang out with them. Definitely check out Big Machine Distillery, by the way. That is an awesome place in Nashville, Tennessee, aside on the south end of Nashville. But yeah, uh, so uh, I wasn't able to get a Tennessee video done, but we're here in beautiful Virginia. So please enjoy. <laughs> So one of the first things that you want to do when you come to Crabtree Falls is to make sure that you're paying for your parking. It's only three dollars uh, per vehicle for the full day, however long you guys are going to be out here. Uh, but you just come up to one of the pay stations. You have this one here at the beginning of the trail or the one that I stopped at, which is at the very beginning um, when you first come in uh, to the kind of like the whole parking lot area. But it's just three dollars. You go to the, uh, the there's a lot of envelopes there uh, that you just fill out. Uh, you tear it off. Uh, your own stub, you stick it on your car, and then of course you put your three dollars in. I didn't have exact chain, so I put five in. Still goes to a great cause, and then you drop it off in the deposit box. So it's that simple, that easy. So the Crabtree Falls is part of George Washington National Forest, and it's a beautiful spot. Like, it's one of my favorite places in all of Virginia to come visit. I've been to several different uh, waterfalls uh, in, um, in and up and down the Shenandoahs, particularly when I lived here in Charlottesville, and this is probably my personal favorite. It can get crowded, particularly during the summertime. Right now, there's really not a whole lot of traffic going on. It's still early May. People are in school, things like that, but it is fantastic. It's actually funny, I was here to the day, almost to the day, about eight years ago was the last time I was here, back when I lived in Charlottesville, right before I moved to Vegas. Uh, and I was here on my birthday, which is, you know, May 8th, today is May 4th, may the 4th be with you, by the way. But it is, it is beautiful, beautiful. It's a set of like five, four or five different cascading falls that comes down the mountain. The trail itself is about almost three miles if you go all the way to the meadows. Uh, it does connect to the Appalachian Trail, which of course runs all the way from Georgia, through the uh, Appalachians all the way up to Maine, I believe is where that ends. But yeah, it's just, it's a beautiful, beautiful area, just lush forests. Uh, of course the cascade, a cascading waterfall that's broken off into like four or five different sections. And it's definitely worth the climb. It is a bit of a tough, steep climb in certain areas, but it's absolutely gorgeous. So come on and let's, uh, let's go get to huffing and puffing and some hiking, shall we? Okay. 
Okay, so like I said, there's four, about four different levels, four to five different levels of like cascades that go down. So that first one you saw in the beginning was that very first one, and one of the bigger ones. This, of course, the second one is much more of kind of like, uh, you know, some multiple levels coming down, and you get much smaller falls, but even still, really beautiful. I will say one thing, they are rarely, really strict if a ranger ever comes through here. Do not get on those rocks. That has got very slippery algae on those rocks. I've seen people go out there, not get hurt the times I'm here, but in the last 30 years, they've had about 30 people die in some way, shape, or form because they're being stupid. So that's about an average of one per year. So don't be that one every year that dies because they get out on those mossy, mossy rocks and then slip and crack your head open. So, but anyway, yeah, this is the second level to the Crabtree Falls. So by the way, from deck two to deck three, this is about the steepest part of the hike you're gonna do because it's the steepest set of stairs. Okay, so this is kind of the third spot right here. And this is the only spot that I'm, I'm aware of up and down the trail where you can kind of slightly come off and it's not so bad as long as you get to maybe about here, water's edge. I wouldn't go up on any of those rocks personally. I've seen people do it and come out all right, but you know, by, by what the uh, rangers say with their signs, they would definitely highly advise you not to do it. But I will say this is my favorite part of the entire falls is this third part because you have this pool here behind me and of course just the way that the falls come off of the rocks right above me it's just this is absolutely fantastic this is crabtree falls this is what it's all about here so yeah all right so this is the third spot and we're gonna head all the way up to the top on the next one I will say if you've never been to the state of Virginia in the US, definitely try and make a make a trip here. Road trip, fly out to Richmond, DC, rent a car, explore the wilderness of kind of like western and central southern Virginia. It is there's so much here if you're a big nature lover. The Shenandoahs are gorgeous during the fall time. It is otherworldly with the colors on the Skyline Drive and all that. But even still, besides that, just the, even the cultivated areas where the wineries are, the farms are, there's so much history to it. And just so much natural beauty with the mountains in the backgrounds. But you can tell I'm out of shape, breathing hard. We're you know, about, what, less than a mile up. Gotta get back in shape this summer and build that bod. But yeah, definitely, definitely Virginia, if you ever come here. It is a nature lover's paradise. All right, so I got a question for y'all. You can put the answer in the comments. You guys have watched any of my videos. Just uh, the way that I act, the way I look, maybe even the way that my voice sounds. Do I remind you of anyone? Because I can tell you right now, three ladies, lovely ladies, just passed. They were like, uh, oh my God, you remind me of this person. I think one of their friends, Graham or something was his name. But I've gotten that quite a lot is, you know, you remind me of, you remind me of. I feel like I'm in an Usher song. You remind me of a... So, but uh, yeah, if I remind you of anyone, let me know. Okay, so I was slightly off. There is a fourth kind of outcropping here before you reach the top. So there is not four, there is more than four. It's been eight years since I've been here. There might even be more than five. So don't hold to me when I said when there was four down there earlier. We're just gonna find out how many there is. But this is number four.
a cave? So we have made it to the top of Crabtree Falls. Uh, that is up there behind me. It, the, now the river continues on uh, further uh, along into the meadows. Um, there's a campground back there, another trail that goes another uh, couple of miles. The, the mileage from the base to up here is about 1.7. I'd kind of forgotten it was that long, <laughs> but uh, it is a great hike. It is, uh, I would say about moderate and temperate uh, when it comes to um, difficulty but it is a great hike and of course there's a lot of different pull-offs so yeah there was about seven seven pull-offs and then you have this eighth one up here that gives you this just broad sweeping view of the mountains around this area and it's just absolutely gorgeous I yeah this is like I said this is one of my favorite places in all of Virginia and definitely my favorite waterfall and hike in the state as well but yeah this is Crabtree Falls so all right, so after this, we're going to head to a place called Devil's Backbone. It's probably one of the better well-known breweries uh, that comes out of Virginia. It's one of the few that I've actually ever seen um, in other states and actually in other countries. But I've got a story when we get there for that. But anyway, yeah, this was Crabtree Falls. Okay, back down in the parking lot. That was Crabtree Falls, that was awesome. I love that hike so much. I'd totally forgotten how long it was and how steep it was in certain areas. But that was definitely a lot of fun. Take from my advice, definitely make sure that you have the proper shoe attire when it comes to hiking places like Crabtree Falls because there are a lot of spots along the trail where the water accumulates from the wa running water from not the falls, but just the rainwater coming down the hills. You do have a lot of muddy areas that can be slippery uh, or just, you know, very muddy. So you want shoes that you don't mind getting dirty. Also, I would also say, Get one of those shoes that has like, that go like past your ankle high kind of hiking boots. Because when you do come down on steep places like that uh, in hikes, it does, it does do a number on your ankles and your back heels. I almost rolled my ankle. Thankfully I caught myself, but almost rolled my ankle, which uh, would have been really bad coming down. So anyway, that was Crabtree Falls. That was awesome. Now, time to go get a beer. Okay, so when you're done with Crabtree Falls hike or any of the other hikes around this area, highly recommend coming to Devil's Backbone Brewery Base Camp. Uh, so this is not the official brewery. They actually uh, distill all of the uh, beer and I think they've started to get into some liquors as well, a little bit further down. But this is the restaurant base camp area and it's the base camp for Wintergreen uh, Ski Resort here in Virginia. So Winter, the actual resort is a little bit further, it's about I think 15 miles um, up into the mountain areas, uh, about north of where we were at Crabtree Falls. But it's a great spot. It's To me it's one of my favorite breweries uh, in Virginia and also in the United States. I love the Vienna Lager, that's probably their most well known. Uh, it's my personal favorite. It's just a nice red lager, so it's not super malty. Uh, it has that kind of light tones of a lager, but it does still have a little bit of that kind of like that flair, that flavor of um, like that nutty flavor of an amber. So, cheers to you guys. 
Oh, that feels so good. Oh. Yeah. And then they've actually grown quite a bit. Like it used to be just the um, the main hall restaurant, which uh, is kind of cool if you go inside, it's very, um, uh, almost kind of like lodge, lo kind of like mountain lodge-like. Unfortunately, they're closed today. They're only open Thursday through Sundays in the main restaurant. Tuesdays and Wednesdays, they're open up here in the back patio area where you have, of course, uh, the beer area and then you have kind of like, almost like a little grill, um, which has got, you know, burgers. Uh, like I got some chicken satay and some jerky. So we're gonna go ahead and try those. We're gonna try off the jerky first. So this is their own homemade jerky. Actually looks really good. And actually is kind of soft, so it's not gonna be too, I'm gonna guess it's not gonna be too, too, what should I say, stringy? Mm. It does have a bite to it though. It's actually rather tender for jerky. Mm. That's very good. Come with some apples to sweeten the deal. It's good. And then we'll try this. This kind of like chicken satay it comes with them. I'm not sure what sauce it is. With a little bit of lime, get a little citrus on there, a little acidity. Try that. Oh, that's good. Look at that. It's just like very juicy, very tender chicken. I mean, oh man, that is good. Yeah. It's one thing I miss about Virginia was being able to um, consistently get Devil's Backbone uh, Vienna Lager. It's hard to find in the States. There's some, they are slowly growing and I've actually randomly saw them one time in a pub years ago in Scotland. Which shocked the hell out of me. But I do miss having it consistently around. Okay guys, so that was Devil's Backbone Brewing Company. That was absolutely delicious and a great capper to the day and all the, the hiking that I did over at Crabtree Falls. I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Thank you so much for joining me on this particular adventure. Uh, let me know what you thought about the hike, what, what you thought about Devil's Backbone Brewing Company. And if you've ever been to the Shenandoahs in Virginia, let me know what your favorite places are when it comes to eating, hiking, drinking, culture, whatever. Maybe someday I'll be able to hit those up. In the meantime, guys, thank you so much. I'll see you guys down the road. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll leave links to all the descriptions to all the places that I went to today. But I will see you guys on the next adventure. Peace out.